Hello and welcome to the final episode of season 14 with me, Magoobidge, here at the Plug and Play Tactic playthrough series on YouTube. And it's a big, big day. We've won the Conference North in our first season. We've been promoted up to the Premier League in seven seasons it took us to get to the Premier League. We've been in the Premier League. This is our seventh season. The highest we finished previously was fourth. The season after that, we finished lower down, but won the Champions League. First time of asking. Since then, it's been a struggle. And last end of last season, I was brought, I was brought in before the board. I did not qualify for the Europa League. And I was asked for a stay of execution, which they gave me. And now look, one win away from the title. It's the first time in the Premier League. We take on Newcastle at home, who are 12th, and then Swansea away, who are 15th. One win with champions. As predicted, Man United have just beaten Bournemouth with a goal in the 88th minute to cling on to their hopes of a title, but we need to do our job and beat Newcastle today. Here we go. One win and we're champions. Right, Popoff is out. So Rittenauer can come in. I'm going to put Tomori on the bench. Also, in fact, I won't. I'll take him out. Right, I'm happy with that. So it's basically full strength team apart from Rittenauer's in for pop off. Here we go. One win and we're champions. Team talk. Passionate. Been on a good run lately. Got faith in you. Here we go. 90 minutes away from the title. As it stands with this point, we're three points clear of Man U. Newcastle coming forward. It's not going to be an easy game, this one. Down our left-hand side. Tackled just outside the box. Just outside. Martinez gives away a free kick on the edge. Cleared. Poku does well to win it. A little bit of danger there. We've now got the throw. Go right to take a throw. Pheasant flicks the ball on, headed away. Comes out to Gonzalo. Sees Poku on the left-hand side. His shot is saved and it goes for a corner. Diallo takes the corner. Keeper flaps at it. Bath picks up the loose ball. Plays it inside to Martinez. Crosses blocked and they clear it away. Tomorrow more. Let's get that goal to calm us all down. We're totally dominant in the game. Newcastle not had a shot yet. 25 gone. Throw comes into the box. Bath. Back to Gurai. Shoots and it goes wide. Cross comes in. And there's the goal. And Bath has scored his 24th goal of the season. That would be the title. As it stands, we're champions. The shot was, it sort of looked like it was going wide, but it's kept in. Poku put the cross in. Gurai back into Pheasant, plays it square to Bath. The front two combine over 20 goals each this season. 1 0. 91 points. Five clear of Manu. They've given the ball away, Newcastle. Martinez down the right hand side. Gets into the box, shoots, and easy for the keeper. Newcastle with possession. Give it away. Martinez with loads of space. Goes past the defender. Horse shot again. 35 gone, 1 0 up. Marmor again. Newcastle with possession, give it away. Diallo goes away back to Romero. Return now up. Plays it up, but gives the ball away. Well, we've done well to win it back. Martinez is in again. Third time lucky. No, he's saved it again. Three chances he had. Going well. Capable of even better. Martinez is on a 6.4 and Poku's on a 6.3. Jamal Moore. Final home game of the season. Can we wrap up the title? Newcastle, they've had two shots this off. None on target yet. Gurai's got the ball deep inside our half. Ritenauer. 
to Debo. Stewart plays the ball forward to a runner, Connor Pheasant. Goalkeeper makes a great save, keeps Newcastle in it. Let's make a change. Chuck Wesley can come on for Martinez. 25 to go. Can we hold on and win the title? 20 to go. We've got the throw deep inside our half this time. Gurai up to Chuck Wesley, brings it down. Comes across from right to left. Sees Poku wide left. Goes past the defender. Cross comes in. Chuck Wesley on the volley. Hits the bar and it goes over. We've got the same goal difference as Man U. Let's not concede a late goal here. Let's win this. Cross comes over. Rittenauer picks up the loose ball. Crosses it in. Back post. Keeper claims it. Highlight continues. Do not score, Newcastle. Lumped ball forward. Gurai heads it straight to their forward and they're in. Connell shoots wide. Golden opportunity. Show passion. Deary me. We've given away a penalty. We've given the penalty away. <laughs> no, no, no. Save it. Goalkeeper, save it. He doesn't. They've scored. We're now only three points clear of Man U. <laughs> no. This game, I'll tell you. It does, yeah, it really does. They've done nothing all game, Newcastle. They got a penalty. Make subs. I'm going to change my two midfielders. One more. Three minutes of injury time. It's one all. We're only three points clear of Man U. They've now got... A Oh dear, they just headed that over the bar. Deary me. That's it. I wanted to win the title at our home ground. Disappointing performance. Oh, deary me. Send the assistant. Right, it all goes to the final game. We need a point. Let's go to Swansea. Hello everyone. I've made a boo-boo. What you saw is we just drew 1-1. We were three points clear of Man United with one game to play. All we needed was a point. Man United were playing Wolves. They had to win to have any hopes of the Premier League title alive. We just needed a point, as I say. Now, after that game that you saw, when we drew one all, I thought I'd press pause on the record on my OBS. I actually pressed stop. I thought I'd restarted it. I hadn't. And I wasn't recording the drama of the final day of the season. So, bear with me. I'm going to show you the highlights of what happened. And then everything after it. We actually beat Swansea 6-2. Which was an unbelievable performance. And these are the key highlights. You've got the stats on the right hand side. The scores at the top. So I can't hide it. But you can see early on. 11 minutes gone. We started to dominate the game. We started to create and craft. We were playing really well. It was a full strength team as normal. And then Swansea broke. Broke away. Shot wide. That was 11 minutes in. So that was a warning sign early. Then they had a free kick on 19 minutes and that happened. We went a goal behind to Swansea on 19 minutes against the run of play. And they had another chance to get a second. But they didn't. From that point, from the 24th minute, we sort of turned on the style a bit and we took complete control of the game and an outstanding performance. Six unanswered goals before they equalised. First up was this one. Cross into the box, Poku plays it squared to Connor Pheasant. Pheasant drives the ball home. So that's 1-1 one, one at half time. So second half kicks off. These are key highlights that I would have seen during the game. Swansea were in. Great block. 51 minutes gone. We then take the lead with Bath. Bath scores. is 27 for the season. And puts us 2-1 up after 51 minutes. And we're finally in control. At this point, Man United were winning 1-0. So we went back three points clear of them. We'd only been a point clear with drawing 1-1. But 
But then, as I say, we then took control. Bath got his second goal on 67 minutes. At that point, we could breathe easy. Shortly after this, it appeared that Man United and Wolves was now 1-1. United were drawing. We were 3-1 up, playing good football, as you can see. And we then took full advantage. We've taken some chances. 21 shots, 15 on target, 6 goals on the day. We won the title in outstanding fashion. Swansea, to their, to their credit, were playing their football. But, as I say, I mean, look. We made changes. 78 minutes gone. It's still only 3-1. Kobe Anchi come on for Pheasant. Gurai takes a corner. Gave her the free kick away there. But consistent pressure from us. Check where he was on. He come on for Martinez. He had an attempt that went woefully wide in his last game for us. He's going to go and so is Tadebo. So at 3-1, 82 minutes gone. We scored three goals in the final 10 minutes of the game. Good possession. Stewart spots a run from Poku. Gets to the byline. Cross comes in. Bath heads it down to Stewart to Poku. And Poku coming inside on his right foot. Strikes one home to make it 4-1 on the day. Bronzy come forward again. I did say six unanswered goals. I've completely forgotten. They scored, wanted to make it 4-2. So it wasn't six unanswered goals, but six goals in the, in the, in the game for us. So this is 4-2, and Swansea keep coming forward, and we pick them off. Chuck Wesley finds Poku, heads it down. They clear it, but then Tadebo steps in. Poku drives forward once again, gets fouled for a penalty, and Bath has got an opportunity to get a final day hat-trick which he steps up and takes to make it 5-2 after 89 minutes. Brilliant performance from us. Outstanding performance, you have to say. Was that 5 or was that 6, did I see? Did I not see our 5th? Anyway, I can't remember. We won the game 6-2. So final day, Man United drew with Wolves 1-1 and they blew their opportunities. So the Premier League table looked like this. We finished top, 38 games played, 92 points, 5 clear of Man U, who qualified in second on 87 points. 10 points behind them in third was Tottenham, Champions League. And then Man City got into the Champions League as well. Did they or is that the Europa League? Not too sure. Anyway, so Chelsea, City, Watford in the European places. Bournemouth were relegated along with Ipswich and Southampton. Blackburn survived on the final day. So, let's go to awards. So, we did the domestic double. We won the Premier League and we won the League Cup. The board were happy with our win. Bath played really well. Three goals, 9.6 rating. We received £45 million for winning the Premier League. Players that got medals, quite a few. The team was paid out 9 million of that 45. Pound champions. Celebrated the glory. Record high finish. First in the Premier League, having finished fourth. Record low number of league defeats. We only suffered four defeats all season in the Premier League. Inducted, despite the fact we've won the Premier League. <laughs> inducted, the only person that really came into it was Oscar. Henderson in goal, Oscal, Thompson, Todibo, Marmal Wing, Stuart, Pheasant, Ugatisi, Bath and Preston. So new was Oscal. In the season awards, team of the season was Romero, Diallo, Todibo, Popov, Gurai, Hoku, Lombard, Gonzalo, Martinez, Bath and Pheasant. Oret Stewart didn't make it despite playing most of the season. Connor Pheasant was the player of the season with Kyle Bath second and Poku third. Pheasant's goal against Leicester was goal of the season, which is this one. I think it's the long ball over the top from Stewart. And he volleys it first time. Yeah, Gonzalo, it's from, the long ball's from Gonzalo. Over the top, Pheasant on the run. First, first time, bottom corner. That was goal of the season. Hoku was a sign of the season. 44.86 million. Take his release clause from Preston. 
He's now worth 63 million and he's now four and a half star. Star player described as world class now. And he's only Poku. He's only 22. So season review was good. We won the Premier League. We lost the FA Cup semi-final, but we won the Carabao Cup. Average attendance was 100% full and we used 25 players. So next season, they've given me a new expectation and vision. And next year, they're asking me just to finish top half of the Premier League and reach the first knockout round as minimums within the Champions League, which I've accepted quite happily. The team meeting, which was crap. Training camp will be in Singapore. Staff numbers have been improved. All my coaches, everything else remains the same. I've now allowed four extra scouts, taking us up to 21, and another data analyst. But my technical director will take over that. Will take over that. Kyle Barth finished second to Fabio Silva in the top golden top goal scorer award. Romero finished second in the Golden Glove, but I won the Manager of the Year. The players named in the Players Team of the Year. We had 10 players, which is outstanding. Stewart again was the only person who didn't make it. Tottenham's Labe come into the team, but I've got 10 out of the 11. Stuart didn't make it into our team of the season and the players' player of the team of the season. Really strange. So there's some other details there. Scouting meeting I've done. Romero's got a clean sheet record, 22 clean sheets this season. And the board provided me with a 21.5 million cash injection. But, now you know my finances were bad, 50 million in the red. Have a look at this now. Now got plus 62 million in the bank. We've literally got around 600,000 wage budget to work with, 42 million transfer budget. And I was looking through as to how I've got that amount of money. TV revenue was 8 million this month. Merchandising 1 million. Prize money 45 million. Investments 21 million. And sponsorship was massive, 74 million. So that's why I've now got a plus balance or a balance in the black, which is great. So let's just have a look at where we're at. So got people being placed on transfer lists and things like that. So that's basically it. That's what happened at the end of the season. Sorry that you missed the game being played out live. It was scored by error from me. But join me tomorrow and you'll see the first episode of the new series, new season, which is season 15, where we start as defending Premier League champions. But before I do that, one more thing to do. Now I'm going to leave it for the new season. My squad is young. Chuck Wesley's going to go. He's 34. He's going. Todibo's 33. He'll go as well. My squad is young and it's here to stay for a long, long time. So come back tomorrow. See what happens as we start the brand new season. Thanks for watching. Like the video for me. Subscribe to the channel, but make sure you hit the bell for notifications. If you don't miss my videos come out, which is every day, 6 o'clock. It's been a great series so far. Not Conference North to the Premier League in seven seasons. Having won the Conference North. Won the Champions League in our fourth season in the Premier League. In our seventh season, the Premier League finally won the title. Join me tomorrow. See you then.